Hello guys, it's uh, grade six, first quarter here. Uh, just a model test uh, number one today, okay? Uh, every <clears throat> Everyone, okay, good luck for you. Yeah. Now the first problem, solve the proportion B over seven equals eight over one. Uh, what's the value of B? I am waiting for uh, my student here to solve. Maimuna, have you finished? Yeah, I finished once of playing. Okay. What's the result? Is it 56? Bravo. Very good. You're great. Okay. I did it in this way. Sorry. I, I have to use uh, the number opposite to B, okay, to make it down. <clears throat> anyway, I have a property uh, called cross multiplication property. Okay, I have to use it. Multiplying B times one, okay, in the left hand side, multiplying seven and eight in the right hand side. Uh, one times B is B, seven times eight is 56. That's, that's all, okay? This is okay. number one. Uh, going to number two. Uh, here, <clears throat> read it, please. There are 16 pink beds and 29 purple beds on Harper's necklace. Harper nickel. Necklace. Okay. But, um, what is the ratio of the number of the purple beds and the pink beds? 16 okay. and 29? 16 and 29? Uh, the ratio 16 to 29 is the ratio between pink and purple. Okay. He asked to care. He asked for uh, the ratio uh, of purple to pinks. Take care. Are you calling it 29 to 16? 29 to 16? Yeah, it's a 29 to 16. Which one? The, uh, the second one. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Okay. What's the ratio of purples? Okay. To pinks. You have to start with purples. Very good. Uh, once again, I'm sorry, I have to hide the solution here. Okay, uh, solve the proportion five over one equals W over four. Okay, let's see. So we have to do Take your like... time. You have one minute, okay? Okay. My Mona, please, would you open the camera? Okay. Thank you. That's good. So, Mister, is it is it twenty? Wow, that's great. Okay, yes. Uh, the solution here, making also the cross multiplication property again. Okay, it's uh, multiplying here first. W times one is W, and five times four is twenty. This is the solution. Bravo, bravo, thank you, good girl. Once again, uh, once again, please. Uh, number four, would you read it, please? Okay, so it says. 
Martina Town voted a new law. There are six votes in favor of the law and 44 votes against the law. What is ratio number of the votes in favor of, of the law of, to the number of votes in the law? So it has to be six over 40, 44, 644. Uh, six in favor to 45 against. And he asks for uh, what is the ratio of the number of votes, okay, in favor uh, of law uh, to against, favor to against. Do you have a solution now or you need one minute to think? It's not six over 44, it's not six to four? Yeah, it's six, six to 44, okay. Yeah, 644, sir. Okay. Uh, once again, new problem number five here. Uh, do the ratios nine over 15 and one over five form a proportion? Nine Your answer is just yes or no. Nine over 15, one over five. Absolutely. Mister, is it yes? Is it yes? Yeah, yes. Okay, let's see. Here I solve it. I'll tell you one fast way to solve a such problem like, like this. Just making uh, the cross multiplication property this way. Uh, nine and five are opposites here. Okay, nine and five taking uh, them together and make multiplication, I've got 45. And also I have one and 15 <clears throat> as opposites, okay? One and 15, make multiplication also, I have got 15. I am so sorry, it's 45 and 15 here, they are not equal, so the answer is no, okay? Okay, yeah, Just okay. Make just making a cross multiplication, okay? Don't make a, a lot of calculations, okay? Nine up and the five down, multiply. One up and the 15 down, multiply also. If uh, if you have the same result, the ratios are equal. It's a proportion. Otherwise, okay, I'm sorry, not, not, uh, not form a proportion. The answer is no, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, once again, once again, uh, do the ratios one over three, six over 18 form a proportion? Can you do it the same way, please? Uh, Mr. Is it? I'm just gonna guess, okay? Is it yes? <laughs> you don't know how to start. Just make a cross multiplication. First, multiply one by 18. You see? One and 18. Make multiplication. It's 18. Okay. 
and now uh, six multiply three. Six times let's see. Three by six timetable. It's eighteen also. Okay. So here one time is eighteen is eighteen. Three times six is eighteen. I have. Uh, the same number here, the same result. So they, yes, they form a proportional. Okay. Proportional. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Please revise the once again. And anybody at home can help you about the multiplication table. It's very important. Okay. Uh, I have a good idea also. Uh, I can take I can take one over three and multiply by uh, six. One by six is six, three by six is 18. Yeah. Anyway, you need the multiplication table, okay? Uh, you will find the, a video and the same file here, okay, on the website, please. I received many messages that you, you don't, you don't uh, get into the website, okay? I Take forgot, care. I forgot. Okay. Uh, look in. Just to make login, okay? On the, I, forgot, whoops. I forgot my password and I can't log in because I'm using another device. And my device, uh -huh. is, I think it's broken. It's ask, broken. ask anyone in the administration to help you about your password, okay? No problem. Very easy. Okay, we reached here the tables. You remember? Uh, number um, seven, would, would you read it, please? It says, Pop's feet. Poppy's Pizza Place sells the best pizza in Sunnyvale. To make, to make the dough, the, the chef uses five cups of flour for every two cups of water. For every two cups of complete table. Data. It's the five cups of flour to two cups of water, okay? Uh, first of all, he asked for completing the table. Would you help? Yeah. Just a minute, just a minute. Okay. Uh, uh, the ratio here is five over two, five to two. What's the next one? 10 to what? Think about it. Don't be late. Four, four. Yeah, bravo. Okay. Uh, 15 over. 15 over 6. Yes. And 20 over. 8. Yeah. Okay. And what about the graph? Let us see in the next page. Okay. Here we have it. As you told, mashallah, it's 4 here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 6 with the 15. It's the eight with the 20. Okay, now I want to make the drawing. Uh, uh, five and the two. Five and the two, five is here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let, okay, uh, how can I move? Just go. Uh, five go. and two. Hmm. Go two One. steps. Steps. Yeah, two steps. Two steps, yes, right. Uh, the next one is 10 to? Four, four steps. From 10, up, 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 till four. Yeah. Uh, third? To six, four, to six steps, six steps. 15 up to six. Okay, that's a good. Uh, last one? 20 to eight steps. 20 to eight. And now, what should I do? You're done. Done? I think. No. <laughs> Something missed here. The straight line, okay? Graph the data means, okay, making a straight line also. We have to start from here and passing through all, all the points. This way. Is it good? Yes. Nice one, I think, okay, because I love many multicolors. Okay, bravo, my moon. You helped me, thank you. 
Okay, a new problem here. Okay, first you're gonna read it well. Okay, keep quiet. I mean, don't read fast. Okay, you are reading to understand the problem. To under okay, okay, start. Okay, so a small, a small basket of fruit basket of a small food basket contains okay. a fruit. So a large basket has the same ratio of fruit as the small basket. If the large basket has forty two total pieces of fruit, how many are pears? Example two. Okay. Uh, as you see in the table, okay, type of fruits, apple, orange, and pear, and the amount are six, five, and three, okay? For the, this is for the small basket. So the small basket contains five, uh, six, five, three. Uh, if you add them, uh, five plus six is 11, 11 plus three, it's 14, okay? Mm -hmm. If you want, if you want to make, to make a big basket, it contains the 42 as he uh, told, uh, told us here. Uh, concerning the peers, peers. In the small basket, we have only three, okay? What about the big basket? You want to make the same ratio, okay? Once again, once again, the story. Uh, the small basket contains 14, Okay, as total. The big basket uh, is 42 as total. Okay, he told. For the small basket, for the peers, sorry, the small basket contains only three. The big basket, I don't know, I want to know. Okay, so it's a problem of ratios. Okay, 14 over three, the first uh, ratio. 42 over what? I don't know. Here it is, okay? I would like to make also cross multiplication. Uh, here you have, for example, X or something like this, question mark, little question mark. The opposite one is 14. You need this, okay? Look at the opposite. The opposite is <clears throat> 14, uh, must be down, okay? Must be down here, you see it? Yeah. But I'm going to concentrate here. And also, for uh, 42 and 3, I have to multiply them. Once again, 14 over 3 equals uh, 42. 42 over what? I am asking myself. Now, question mark, opposite to 14. Okay, put it down and multiply the other opposites, 42 and 3. Uh, here it is. You can make multiplication, and I have something good. I can divide first, 42 divided 40. Uh, would you help multiply 42 by 3 first, please? Okay. Multiplication, 42, multiply 3. Uh, 126. Uh, two by three is six, yes, and four by three is complete. 12. 12? Yeah, so it's one twenty six, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now divide, divide uh, one twenty six by fourteen. One hundred twenty six by fourteen. Sorry, it's longer division, right? Yeah, divided by fourteen. I'll tell you something better than this. You will see. Oh. Nobody loves the long division. Yeah. Me too.
Master is a nine. Wow, bravo, very good, yes. And also, I have an advice to tell you. Listen, uh, can you help here? Look at 42, okay, just 42 mm -hmm. and 14, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell the common factor between them? The, the what? Uh, the common the, factor. Yeah. Uh, I think they both, are they both in the, multiplica in the multiplication of seven? Bravo, very good. Okay, now 14 divided seven is? Um, let's see, 14 divided by 7. Wait a moment. 18 divided by 7. 14, you have 14 dollars divided. Two, 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 two. Yeah. Okay, just a two. And what about 42 divided 7 also? 42 divided by 7. So, let's see. We are six friends, sorry, we are seven friends and we have $42. Uh, seven times what gives you 42? Revise your multiplication table. Maimuna, listen, uh, one by seven. Six. What? Well, okay, the result is six. Very good. Okay. Now, now I can I can divide six and the two. Okay. Six divided two is three. Multiply by the other three, you will get nine. Okay. Anyway, anyway you like it. Okay. Uh, you go. You go for it. And now we have. We have another problem, number nine. Please read okay. it. It says a comic book store ha is having a sale. You can buy 20 comics books for $35. What is the cost of eight comics books during the sale? Uh -huh. uh, 20 books, $35. Okay, eight books, how many dollars? Oh, so that's what I have to do. You have, you have your notebook and a pencil, okay. You have two minutes to try it. Okay, child. So I have to go and divide it. It's to divide, right? It's multiplication always. All, all your syllabus about the ratio and the proportion needs multiplication and division also. Okay. So. First of all, summarize your uh, your problem. Look, look. Here, here, in this way, it's very easy for you. You have to do it. Uh, I am talking about the books and dollars. In the beginning, he, he told about 20 books and $35. The second statement says, I want, he, he wants to uh, buy a books for how many dollars? Okay. Once again, 20 books for cost is $35. A books cost how many dollars? This is the problem. Okay. So you have it here. Okay, sorry. 
Maimuna help? Make multiplication as we did last problem. Multiplication and divide. The number opposite to x must be down. Step. Yes. Done. Yes, sir. Is it? You finished? You're still trying, right? Okay. Uh, let me help you. Here, uh, I told you. For the books, it's a 20 and the 8. For the dollars, it's a 35 and X, okay? Uh, the opposite, the opposite for X, the opposite for X is 20, okay? I have to put it down here and multiply the others, 35 times 8, okay? I made the division here. Uh, instead of multiplication and having big number, okay, I can make ca a cancellation. I mean, taking the common factor between 35 and the 20, uh, 20 divided by five is four. Maimona, you're here. 20 divided by five is four. 35 divided by five is what? Maimuna, 35 divided 5 is? Yes. You hear me? I am asking. 35 divided by 5. I can't hear you right now. I cannot hear. Is it okay Hello? now? Yes. yes sir. I cannot hear you. Just a minute. I still cannot hear you, mister. Okay, okay, just a minute. 